guys, welcome to my art channel. Thanks for stopping by to make some art with me. Um, for more free art lessons, you could press the button below and subscribe right there on that red button. And I will see you really soon. Now let's get to making some art. Bye bye. Hi, and welcome to Mixed Media Art. Today we are going to be creating paper molas. Molas are actually handmade textiles found in Panama in Central America. And they're done in what's called a reverse applique, applique technique with multiple layers of fabric. And the molas have a lot of geometrical figures on them. They also have some flowers sometimes. They might be found with sea animals and birds. And they're very unique and they're very colorful. And today we are gonna make one out of paper with a toucan, which is a popular bird um, in Central America. So let's get started. You will need a variety of color papers and you're going to need one either construction paper or color uh, cardstock paper for your background, a glue stick, scissors, and a pencil. And then we can get started by showing you how to draw the toucan. To draw the toucan, we're going to start with his beak. And we're going to form a horizontal line. And then on top of it, we're going to do a same size line horizontally, but with a little bit of a curve to it, just like that. And that's going to be the inside of his beak. From there, we're going to do the top part of the top of the beak, which just follows that line. And then we're going to follow the line underneath the beak and connect it like that. From there we'll do the top of his head which is a curved line like a mountain, uh, mountain curved up and then we're going to follow that down in a line that looks something like that. We're going to go to the other side to the front of the bird or the bird's chest and draw a slight curved vertical line. And then we're going to do another curved line to start the formation of his tail. Right here. And under, next to that line, connecting that, is going to be a horizontal straight line. And then we're going to do a small diagonal line going upwards. And you can start seeing formation of the whole bird and his tail here. What we're going to do now is come in and we're going to form his legs. And you could do this in pencil. I'm doing it in marker so you could see it. And then I'm just going to close up the bottom of the body, like so. I'm going to add a wing, which is the shape of a, an oval. And I'm just going to add a little eye. Here is the final drawing of the toucan. And now I'm going to cut him out of the paper. And I'm going to save my scraps for another project.
and I'm just very carefully cutting out his little legs and feet. Okay, so I have the bird cut out. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one of my papers in a contrasting color and I'm going to glue my bird on top of that paper. Now I'm going to glue it um, the side that I drew on down because we're not going to be having any drawing on our artwork today. We're actually going to be just cutting everything out. So I'm going to glue this guy right onto my paper. And I'm going to leave some area around him because what we're doing is we're cutting the outline around the bird right now. So I'm going to glue him down. And I could take my pencil and I could trace around where I want to cut. Like so. I'm not sure if you could see that. And now I'm going to cut out the outline of my bird. because I'm going to use that and I'm going to choose a background paper and I'm going to glue my toucan onto my background paper with my glue stick making sure to get those edges first As long as you get the edges of your paper, you don't need to fill in that much in the middle. And you could put this, your toucan, anywhere. I'm going to center mine. Like so. And I'm just going to take another piece of paper and kind of flatten that out. Make sure it's sticking well to my background. So from here, we're going to start doing the background. So if you notice, these backgrounds are just rectangle shapes. So in the MOLA designs, these type of shapes actually represent sunlight coming through their homes. So I'm going to cut out um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I need probably about 12 rectangles to go across. So I'm going to start with green and I'm going to make some rectangles. And it doesn't matter if they're not perfect rectangles because this is a handmade piece just like the molas are handmade. And if you notice some of the shapes are not perfect, they're not done with rulers or anything. They're just all done by hand. And I'm going to cut out my rectangles. And I will lay them out first. To make sure they're not too long. Okay, that looks good. 
and I am going to choose a second color that I'm going to go across the page with. Maybe I can use this yellow again. And the first thing I do is cut one long strip, and then I'm going to take that strip and I'm going to just cut those rectangles. So, and I could put these here. I'm just placing these to see what fits. Now, in this second row, if you notice, I'm going to turn it around so you can see better. I can only fit four, so if I want to put another rectangle in here, I have to cut them shorter so he fits. fit another one in there like that. And I'm going to do another row. And you can make your rectangles really wide or really narrow or a little bit of both. So I'm also noticing I have to make some shorter rectangles to fit down in here. And fill in that space. Okay, and I think I can get another row in there. So I'm going to go back to the green. I started with green, then I have a bright yellow, then I have a pink, and I'm going to go back and add another row of green in there. very bright background. You know, it looks like underneath I'm going to have to make my rectangles a little bit shorter because part of the bird is going into that line. So I'm just going to cut these a little bit shorter. And I'm filling in that line right there. And I like the way that it looks and everything is set up and sized pretty well. So I am now going to glue this. I'm going to use my other glue stick. I think that glue stick is falling apart. And just make sure to get the edges of each rectangle. That's the most important. And it's okay if a little bit of glue shows up on top of your paper because it dries clear. And I'm just going to glue down each piece. And I'm going to get them glued down and I'll, we'll go back and I'll fix any corners that are popping up. I just want to put them in place. And what I'm noticing is that when I'm putting them down, I'm going to need a few extra. I space them a little bit differently. So 
I have these down, but I'm going to go back because I see these corners are picking up a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure I get that on both, both ends, the top and the bottom. Sometimes I just like to go over and press everything down, but I always do it with the paper on top of it so I don't get glue stuck to my hands, which then sticks to all the other papers. Okay, so now I'm ready for my second row of yellow. And I think if I glue on my scrap sheet here. I'll be able to get the corners a little bit better. You don't want to glue right down on your table because it just makes everything sticky. So if you have a piece of scrap paper to do your glue work on, that's perfect. Okay, I have my second row done, so I'm going to go over and just rub it down, kind of spread that glue out a little bit, and also flatten the glue because it's a little bumpy. And I'm ready for my pink row. Okay, my fingers are getting a little bluey. <laughs> and I'm going to flatten that out. This helps smooth out your paper, spreads the glue. And it also helps the glue stick better. Okay, I'm on my last row here. And you might have more rows, it really depends on how wide and how high you cut your papers. So everybody's project is going to be a little bit different. my last row now if I wanted I could probably if I wanted I could probably do one more short row on the bottom but for now I'm going to leave it and you could decide how full you want your paper 
and I'll show you the difference between the two right now. This one I took a little bit more time to do, so it has a lot more of those um, rectangles, and this one I just did a little more quickly. But they both look good, and I love the vibrant colors on, on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the bird, and the first thing I wanna do is I want to put in his wing. So the wing is just really that oval shape that we had drawn, and you can do whichever color you want. I'm thinking green. And I'm gonna just cut an oval shape to approximately the size that I had drawn before. And I, I'm just doing it by eye. I'm going to glue that wing on right there where we had drawn the wing prior. And I'm going to cut a little circle for his eye. Maybe we'll give him a hot pink eye. What do you think? where we had drawn our eye, like so. And inside of that, I'm gonna put a black, a little black dot. I'm saving the black for the end because I'm gonna use it to kind of highlight certain areas of the bird. The black is gonna help those bright colors pop out even more. here was I took a couple of pieces for his tail feathers and let's see I think I'm going to go with the pink again I like this pink it's very vibrant it really stands out so for his tail I'm just going to get a basic idea of how long that tail is and then I'm going to cut a couple of longer strips. Like this to put in the tail. And I'm just putting them down in the tail feather the bottom of the tail feathers down here. I'm glad I chose the pink because it's really bright. It looks good. This guy could be a little bit better. I just have to add a little more glue on that wing, that green wing here. So now I have the inside of the bird, but I'm going to go back over it with my black. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of lines to signify um, different feathers. And I'm going to do like just little vertical, um, little vertical rectangle strips. Pretty thin. And I'm just going to put three or four of them right on the wing, like so. See how the black really pops out against all those bright colors. I 
having some trouble with the glue because my fingers are super sticky. Everything's sticking in my fingers. I'm just going to go over it like I did before and rub it down. So I did my wing on the inside here and I'm going to add to the to the beak. I'm going to add a little slither of black on the top and bottom. So I'm going to cut a nice thin strip. Measure, make sure that it's thin enough, it's a little too thick. And a very thin strip. And we're going to cut a piece to go in the bottom beak. And a piece that will fit in the top beak. And I'm going to add some black strips on top of the pink in the tail feather. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just cut a small thin strip of black. And then I'm going to just cut three strips. really nice and thin. I'm going to glue those black strips just right next to the pink ones, like so, so you can see both the pink and the black. And here you have your own paper mola. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you again really soon. Bye bye.